Hello everyone, I'm Finn. And I'm Caroline, and we're the head effers this year. We'd like to welcome you to the Edinburgh Academy and this virtual tour of the senior school. This year I'm studying chemistry, biology and statistics in the hope to study medicine at university. I joined the senior school in Geitz, along with Finn from the junior school. I'm studying Mandarin, maths and history and hoping to do history in Chinese university. Caroline and I are both really invested in our sports, with myself playing rugby and cricket and Caroline playing hockey. There's also a whole host of other sports available, such as football, netball, yoga and badminton. Finn and I have always loved getting involved in the music at the academy. I'm a member of the orchestra and the chamber choir, and Finn's a member of the pipe band, along with the big band. What I love about the music department is how incredible the tuition here is, and how it allows the ensembles to compete at such high standard. For example, the Montreux Jazz Festival and the chamber choir at the BBC Young Choir of the Year. What allows us to get involved in so many of these different opportunities is the school's unique size. We don't have to fully commit to one group and instead we can engage ourselves in a variety of multiple activities that the school offers. This also helps to establish a proper close-knit community as we get the chance to develop relationships with classmates, pupils across the year groups and also the teachers. The staff are amazing. They are unbelievably supportive, approachable and the pastoral team are always on hand if you want someone to chat to. The teachers are always willing to give up a lunch time to go over something with you or there for you if you just need advice. Hopefully, you'll get to experience a glimpse of this throughout your tour. Enjoy. Hello there, my name's Chris Turley and I'm the head of Transition Years. Transition Years at the Edinburgh Academy makes up the Guides and the Seconds. Now the Guides are very unique at the Academy um, because they are essentially the primary seven, um, but the primary seven up at the senior school. And so we see this transition, the Geitz year, as a halfway house between a junior and a senior school. They have half their time um, in the Geitz setting, but the other half they're working with other pupils and other teachers around the school. So for example, they're singing in the full choir on a Monday afternoon. They're all playing um, full sports and they're getting involved in division drama and lots of other division competitions that work throughout the school thereby getting to know all the older pupils. This means after this year, this Geitz year, they are ready to go into seconds and they are completely ready to, to embrace everything that the senior school has to offer. Um, I really like um, DT because like we are creating different things and yeah, I really like DT this year. I really like this playground because it's like there's lots of green space and there's the woods to run around yeah. in. Um, I'm really enjoying DT because um, you get to design your own what, what you want to make and you can ma make it yourself. I'm really enjoying games because I'm doing rugby and it's really fun because you get to play and cackle each other. <laughs> I'm also really enjoying maths for some reason. I'm, I'm enjoying it a lot more than I did. So yeah. I really like science because we're, like, we're about to do lots of fun experiments. Oh, yeah, with the blue drops. Yeah, with the blue drops. I'm Craig Murray, head of middle years at the academy. In middle years, pupils really start to develop their interests, whether that be academic or interests in the broad range of activities and clubs that are run within the academy. Pupils get the opportunity to take on leadership roles. They start to develop their independence, self-motivation, all of which will bode well when they progress into the senior years. Friend support is something which has developed at the Academy over the last 10 years. Friend support is a group of people that come together in a year to assess maybe an issue that's being raised. Uh, maybe someone's not feeling so great at the moment and what a teacher can do is ask friend support, which is usually about 30 people, what they think about it and what they can do to help. The nice thing is that students can vote who's in friend support to see who they feel most comfortable with and who they trust to solve the problems. Friend support can also change things in the year group that people might not be so happy with and also discuss what needs to be different to make people feel more safe. Working with the Outward Bound organisation, the thirds get the opportunity to face new and challenging situations in the outdoors, giving them the opportunity to develop this further within the Duke of Edinburgh programme in fourths and fifths. My name is Fiona Slavin. 
and I am Head of Senior Years here at EA. Pupils coming into senior years can expect to be treated much more like the young adults that they are. We have a more involved and collaborative approach and pupils are encouraged to take further responsibility not only for their learning academically but also in the wider sense of their individual growth whilst being supported and encouraged at all times. As member of the senior year team we have an open door policy. We also work hand in hand with the pupils encouraging teamwork, mutual respect and support. Our school motto is always excel. We expect all our pupils to be excellent role models. Leading divisions is one way in which they can influence the school, further encouraging a sense of belonging and family, as well, of course, as a healthy sense of competition. The variation in division competitions is a perfect opportunity for students to try out something new, especially since there's often one point per entry into the competitions, which allows pupils to have incentive to enter. Division 5's Bake Off and Chess are examples of the skills people learn. Opportunities for pupils to excel outside of the classroom is, is another key element of the division competition. There is a wide range of activities which means that every pupil finds a competition that's right for them. This can be seen in the division competitions which include the Rubik's Cube Challenge, the Pancake Toss or the Cross Country. Since the competitions are predominantly student-led, this also allows for pupils to develop leadership and teamwork skills. And finally, the division competition is fiercely competitive. This again encourages everyone to take part. Once you join the academy, you'll feel a strong sense of community towards your division. We realise how privileged we are here at EA and are very keen to give back, not only to our local community, but to those who may benefit from our support further afield. Hi, I'm Lewis and I am one of the charity efforts. At EA, we emphasise community engagements and our hand-down approach when engaging in charity activities. In the past, we have worked with various charity activities, ranging from Nelson Mandela's Children Fund to Teenage Cancer Trust. We aim to raise awareness and educate with people on various subjects through fun and engaging charity activities, such as the We Sleep Out. Hello, I'm Miss Costas and I'm going to tell you a little bit of what, what we do in drama. Uh, initially, we focus on uh, developing the five C's, so that's the core skills of drama. So we do creativity, uh, communication, cooperation, coordination and also concentration. Other opportunities to perform are, for example, division drama. We also have a variety show called A Night at the Theatre. And in this performance, students can explore their movement skills, their dance, their singing, and also their acting. Hello, welcome to the Edinburgh Academy Science Department. I'm Keith Hardy, and I'm one of the physics teachers here. In the three sciences, pupils will learn lots of skills, not just the knowledge that they need to get through the subjects, but will also get problem solving skills, experimental skills, and lots of different techniques for exploring science. Throughout their years, they'll build on that knowledge, and this could culminate in going on really exciting trips, such as to CERN in Switzerland in physics. The biology department go out with quadrants and explore the area around us. Chemistry do some of the most amazing experiments, including ethanol rockets, and other coloured flames, things like that, everything that goes boom, which is really, really exciting. In physics, we get the chance to explore space and also the very, very small things that make up the universe. We're really lucky at Edinburgh Academy to have a fantastic science club for Gites and Seconds, which allows pupils to explore science outside of the curriculum. We also have a STEM club that allows pupils to see the links between design and technology, biology, chemistry and physics, and every other area of science and engineering. We will make sure that we equip all of our pupils with the scientific knowledge and skills they need to pursue whatever subjects they go on to do at university or beyond school, whether that be Oxbridge or anywhere else. We want to make sure that our pupils are prepared as possible for life outside of the academy. Hello and welcome to the Art Department of the Edinburgh Academy. My name is David Prosser, I'm Head of Art here. There's four members of staff. Uh, we also have a technician and every year we have an artist in resident. This year's theme is Boundaries. Uh, this allows us to come in fresh from our point of view that we're not regurgitating the same lesson, that the pupils come in and want to know what the new theme is. They get passionate about uh, their own interpretation of how they're going to take that. And that varies from the guides right through to the sevens how they're going to go about that. 
We have a wide range of facilities. Printmaking is a big part of this department. Ceramics and we have some pottery wheels. These are used quite often by the Arts Award, which is something else that we've just brought in, which pupils have not necessarily been able to opt for the subject but still want to be creative can come and do that. And it's very personal led, but we also have modern technology. We have people going to film, animation. We've got a computer suite. One of the big uses of that is higher photography, which has been a recent part that we've added to our curriculum. And to support that, there's also traditional analog photography. Our A-level pupils all have their own individual art spaces, and this is so important for them to be able to express their thoughts and ideas on a scale and with the ambition that we want them to be doing by that stage. Our pupils go on to the top art colleges in the country, uh, so for those who want to go into the creative industries, we will certainly help them in that regard. But we don't see that as our sole role. We also believe that art is important for everybody to be a problem solver, to be innovative, to be rigorous. These are all attributes of creativity that we think can be transferable across all subjects. Welcome to the Edinburgh Academy Music Department. I'm Angus Tully and I'm the Director of Music here. In the, the rooms and the corridors behind and above me is the music department and it's where all our pupils at senior school have the opportunity to have class music and also receive their instrumental lessons from the army of visiting teachers. Instrumental lessons are available on virtually every instrument um, that you can think of. Other music staff help oversee and run our large number of instrumental groups and our choirs, string orchestras, concert bands, big bands, and choirs of all shapes and sizes. There really is something for everyone here. Hi, I'm, I'm Miss Hennessy. I'm Head of Design and Technology Department. Uh, we're a department of three teaching staff and a full-time technician. Most days we have after-school activities, we have lunchtime activities where, for example, we have a young boy in the fourths now, just design and manufacture his own go-kart, that was his own project. So we try and encourage them to work as individuals um, on their own projects, uh, from the little guides who are in just now um, that we teach them measuring, marking out, um, about proportion and all these kind of important key skills down in the workshops and then we take them over to the classrooms, we do computer aided design work that leads on to further up the school where they're able to use the laser cutter and use the 3D printer that's really exciting for them. So that's new technology working with old technology if you like um, and we try and push that right through from first year right up to sevenths where we take them through to A-level and we do an MPA in jewellery making and silversmithing um, which we currently have three seventh year girls doing that. Hi, I'm Dorothy and I'm a seventh and I'm doing jewellery this year. Um, I'm doing jewellery to hopefully help with my portfolio to get into art college later on this year. Jewellery has been amazing because of the facilities that we have in this school as it's very rare for a school in Scotland, I know there's very few, that actually offer this course. So to have it, to be able to put it in my portfolio, is going to be immensely important for later on. Hi, I'm Mike Allingham and I'm the Director of Sport here at Edinburgh Academy. Uh, a little bit about sport that we do. In the winter terms, we have rugby, hockey and netball as choices. And then in the summer term, we go on to cricket, athletics and tennis. 
Um, we give a bigger option once the kids reach their last three years and they get to do all sorts of things um, ranging from yoga, pickleball, basketball, weights and fitness, rounders, uh, you name it, lots happens. Um, facilities, we've obviously got facilities here across at our gym and up at Newfield, up at the junior school with a great EA Sports Centre there. What do we want from the kids? We want them to enjoy their sport. Play to a decent standard would be great, uh, but mainly get involved, enjoy it, play for your team on a Saturday morning, and hopefully you carry on into your adult life when you've left school. My name is Alan Patterson. I'm the head of the careers department at Edinburgh Academy. The Careers Department organise a number of events from Primary 7 right through to the seniors. These events can be activities, talks, workshops. And they're all designed to give our pupils an experience of the world of work. This is to ensure that they're well informed and prepared as they make decisions about life after Edinburgh Academy. A large part of our work involves finding positive destinations for all our pupils. Now this might be going to university in the UK or abroad. It might be going to college or doing an apprenticeship, or perhaps even starting work. Whatever the destination is, our pupils will get support with their CVs, a mock interview programme, and bespoke help with the application processes.